Okay, so spinal stability is a little bit more important, and this is deeper core test yet again. Okay, the ability to keep the spinal stable as we're expressing movement is huge because you're going to apply that when you start designing programs for people, right? Like a squat, a deadlift, changing directions, you name it, shoulder press, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so there's a couple tests we can do to do that. Okay, one of the tests that I like to use is the bird dog, and I need to measure it somehow. So if I don't have a like a, a line on the floor like they have here, I would grab a stick, okay? This is a very common exercise. It's the bird dog. But again, everything we need to do needs to be intentional. And with my findings or testing, I can elicit, I guess, some research and uh, an idea as how to fix it, okay? So what I'm not gonna do is this. Okay, I'm not gonna allow everything to kind of just disorganize itself as I express movement away from my body. That's what a spinal stabilization test is, okay? What I'm gonna try to do is, again, adding intentional tension where my shoulder blades are in, my pelvis is underneath me. I'm gonna extend out and look at those points. How does my body express the movement as I express extension away from my midpoint? Do I have to cheat and rotate, okay? Let's get you to do it, and then we'll give you the test findings. So, if I'm setting somebody up for this, I want either side of the thumb touching the, the stick and almost the same with my knees. I'm gonna pull my knees in a little bit more, okay? And you have the idea that you understand connection. So, you engaged your feet, you're gonna get your pelvis to tuck underneath you, and you're gonna pinch your shoulder blades together. So pinch these together, okay? Most people aren't gonna know that, so you're gonna give them those cues. Okay, again, they're gonna start understanding why they're working with you. Okay, good, so extend out and then change. Good, extend out and change. What we're looking for is as he's extending, how does his body articulate the movement? Does he have to overextend his lower back as his leg goes out, or can he keep this flush? On his left side, he overextends a little bit. On his right side, he keeps this almost underneath him. And I can help people already, regardless whether I'm training them or not. So I give them a quick cue. So for your next two, pinch here, pinch your pelvis underneath you. When you kick your leg out, you almost feel like you're tucking your pelvis more, okay? And it probably feels different. You feel through your glutes, right? Good. And what I'm doing now, and I'm keeping this honest, and I'm keeping this aligned, is I actually see the true ability to extend his shoulders. And in this particular position, he limits himself, unless he cheats and compensates and bows out, okay? Why is that important? Think about it, if I'm adding forms of resistance, say in a squat, a deadlift, and I cannot keep the integral composition or alignment, what do you think happens when I introduce forms of resistance? Things shift, okay? Right, and we talked about this in other compensatory patterns and everything's connected. That external bias and the inability to create spinal stability does what to my squat? I shift my feet, or I shift my torso, I hip hinge. I don't actually earn the proper components of alignment and activation throughout my body when grabbing depth. Squats, deadlifts, change of direction, lunges for me, okay? So those are some of the things that I wanna use for a spinal stability test. When I look at that and somebody scores poorly, but you get in, you're pretty good, okay? I would work at, if they get a lot of rotation and they're all off over the place, I don't want to start them off with squats and deadlifts. I'm going to lead into that problem. I have to break down the components of where they're weak. Their goal is to get better as an athlete, better as a mover, and understand how not to get injured through all the tests and all the things they're going to do. So I have to design that for them. That's why they're probably reaching out for me. Okay, And I can say, hey, this stuff may not be that fun right now, but as we break down these habits or we break down these issues and this dysfunction and we balance things out, don't worry. The more you commit to this, the more you're committed to it and you do it in this short period of time, you will reintroduce those performance training or those resisting training parameters right away. But I, it's gonna take your commitment because I've addressed this and I've tested this and I said there's risk here. I don't wanna get hurt anymore. You're like, oh wow, that makes a difference. Yeah, I would wanna use that, okay? Cool.